Why is it that all the guys y'all see these days supposed to have money for y'all to be with them? Why is it y'all cannot be attracted to a broke <laughs> question? A broke, well, broke, broke. Well, Aaliyah, uh, me? Well, I mean, I'm 19 years old. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that if I was in a relationship, like in my teenage years, you're not working. <laughs> So that wasn't the main focus. Like you don't have money at sixteen, seventeen. Like back when I was sixteen and seventeen, you you didn't have money. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't the focus. Deja and okay. Aliso. Um, let's just be se- um successful together. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Let's just be, let's just be successful together. Okay, if you broke and I broke, we'll be. You know, we'll work on that together. Because <laughs> don't have me becoming successful and you just learn my routine, you know what I mean? So, yeah, go to school. If you don't want to go to school, try to look for a job. Don't just be there smoking weed on the block. Okay? <laughs> and wondering why girls don't like broke guys. Okay? at least have some ambition you know like yeah, show some progress yeah. because exactly. you wouldn't have money every single day of your life you know they have dry days mm-hmm. wet days i forget <laughs> what kind of days they're called the days you don't money i forget the name i forgot the name <laughs> but you know like don't just sit down there like show some intent Like you're going out to look for a job. I know right now, especially mm-hmm. now, it's really difficult to get a job. But you know, exactly. show that you're going out to look for a job. Show that you you're doing something. You're trying to do. Oh, what's your career plan? You know, what's your lifetime goal? Why is it that you guys compare guys you see on the TV, especially TV characters, to guys in real life? Specifically, back in the day when girls would compare. Guys from vampire movies to their own boyfriends. So I'm guessing they're talking about Twilight. I thought you were going to say vampire diaries. I didn't know what that was. He said movies, so I say Twilight. There were movies. Um, I mean, earlier you have quite a few, um, you know, celebrities okay, that well, you I, like. Okay, I guess so, I can think. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's because, like, in movies, they basically. Um, show the ideal boy or the ideal person that somebody would want to date, mm-hmm. or like the perfect boy. But I mean, people in real life are not perfect, so you really and truly cannot expect that from the person that you're in a relationship with. But I guess the comparison is probably for kicks, or maybe there's something in that character that you see in the person can. I shouldn't say change about themselves, or if you want them to change about themselves, change for the better. Mm-hmm. So maybe like you know, you see the person on the screen is a very caring person. You know, they want to hear their girlfriend talk about their feelings, and maybe the person you're in a relationship with, you're not really like that. So you probably keep on bringing that up to them. You're like, oh, you know, this so and so character does this. You know, I guess as a little hint, but we don't mm-hmm. expect you to be exactly like the person. In the movie, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. Why is it that girls tend to go to the bathroom together, and does anything interesting happen there? No, nothing interesting happens. It's just for safety. No, nope. I mean there are some interesting <laughs> things that does happen sometimes. So, you know, you know, you might go in there. So I'm like, okay. A girl wants to use the bathroom, so she brings along her friend. And then, whilst you're in there, you're washing your hands. You know, you drop a joke, and then you know you'll start joking around and whatever. <laughs> you know, I have a blanket. <laughs> oh girl, I just see you pull up a blanket. <laughs> a whole bedroom session. Okay. Do girls honestly like the nice guy? Because a lot of girls tend to be attracted to the bad boys. If we, if we, um, okay, sometimes I feel like 
Sometimes the nice guys are too blonde, and sometimes the bad boys have to play. Okay, they have this personality that just makes the girls go wild. <laughs> no way, she said wild. <laughs> <laughs> My God! You know, girls only really look at the goody two shoes. It's, it's like, you know, I guess the nice guys just tend to go more in the friend zone, like because they're so nice. You know, you just see them as your little brother or your big brother, whatever. Um, mm. your friend, but then the bad boy, he literally. Some of them, they literally come and they're like, "I like you." And da 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 because you know they feel yeah. so bad and whatever. So <laughs> I mm. guess that is why a lot of girls go more towards the bad boy, but not the bad boy that he have guns and he's shooting up yeah. in no, no, just busting guns. <laughs> not those types. The bad boy has a story, you know. He's bad for a reason. He's sensitive, you know. He was like a beautiful girl. <laughs> what, what bad book you got? <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't think any of the bad boys in St. Lucia have any story behind it. <laughs> no, so they got in their heart. Oh, they got in their heart. <laughs> got in their heart. Go, oh, get out of here. <laughs> I'll tell you some more bad book shit. Sometimes you, you give the nice guy a chance and then... They don't, don't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. They don't go anywhere. They don't make moves. Just... Like what's so funny is that you go for the bad boy, right? Then you see he's just too much of a bad boy. You don't like his ways. You finish with him, and then you're like, you know, in your head, you're like, okay, I should go for the good boy now, and you still go back to another type of bad boy. Why is it? No, like that's my question. That, that question not there. I just, you know, find realize a, that find a middle ground. Like get like a bad good guy you know <laughs> so it depends on the day and depends on the situation depends on the day and depends on the situation why is it okay for the bad boy to treat you wrong but once the good guy does it you'll have a problem what's the difference it's, it's not okay in either situation what kind exactly. of question is that <laughs> <laughs> no but <laughs> No. Who asked that question? <laughs> <laughs> no, but eh, eh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is are periods really that bad? Who asked that question? Yes. <laughs> 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 no. no. <laughs> yes. um, well well for me I don't really feel anything so <laughs> Yeah, but like, yes, it is really that bad for those people that experience it. I don't want to be in their shoes. I think that happened to me once, and it was not pretty. It's it's really that bad. Like if like I feel as if the people that suffer from it so much, like I don't understand how they can even get through pregnancy, like giving birth. Yeah. Like I will, I feel for those people. Mm-hmm. Like I when I see like them crying, suffering, crying, when I see them suffering, I'm like phallus for if I, if you know I have to go and give birth because you know apparently it's worse. You know, like they have some people that literally pass out from period pain. You know, so, why do y'all think? Oh no, I asked that person already. No, why is it that when you're in a relationship, you all want to see other people, and when we complain, you start to. You start an argument. First of all, you're checking the wrong kind of goods. Like, <laughs> you know, I just have to say this straight up because... Yeah, I just think, like, the boy that asked the question, he just needs to find the right girl. He just probably yeah. finding all the wrong ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you date someone who is... Fat. I wouldn't have a problem. Like how fat are we talking? Fat. Like fat. Or just fat. Fat. That's all the boys say. Like, fat. Like de- define fat. Okay. Deja. 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 The boys say fat. Okay. 
Okay. Who do you date someone who is obese? I'll ask the free questions. Who do you date somebody who is obese? No, because um, obesity isn't something. It's like a. Yeah, you know, to date someone who is obese. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Health risk and things like that. If you're working on it, mm-hmm. like you're trying to make a life change, yeah, you know, I mm-hmm. support you. But if you're like obese just to be obese. And then you're dragging the pussy, and you're dragging me into mm-hmm. it. Mm-mm. Like I cook in healthy food for you, and you're like, no, I want you know macaroni and cheese, Mm-mm. and like a pile of butter, and you know, nah. and you're, you're like, not no trying to bring life. me down. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And you're trying to change your life, and they be like body confidence, like fam, I want you to live mm-hmm. long. Okay. Would you date me. someone who is not obese, but they have some extra body weight on them? I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Mm, no, I don't have a problem. Yeah. Okay. What would you call your perfect day? Not dating. Perfect, perfect day. day. Yeah. Miss is now oh. watching cricket. <laughs> <laughs> perfect day is when all my YouTube subscriptions give me nice content to watch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sounds like your favorite day in quarantine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was saying, um, a productive day, like yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like eat healthy, getting things done. You know, the things that I plan to do that day that I actually do it, and I don't procrastinate, and you know, yeah. yeah. Next question is: What is your ideal date? I feel like them quizzes go. Yeah, like a quiz question. <laughs> Did that come with options too? No, no, I said <laughs> options. <laughs> options. <laughs> options. <laughs> like a quiz okay, I okay I okay. Let me see. I feel like I never really think of that. And like every time I see that question, especially like in online quizzes, I don't know how to answer it. Only if they give me options. Are we talking in Yeah. Like no, just in general. Like, like, like what is your dream date? date? Something you would want to do? When okay, you when you say dream date, I'm the psycho dude who has a dream date. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a picnic. You know, to Netflix and chance to about a beach. It's a dream date. Don't take me to the movies because I can't talk to you there. Like, <laughs> I hate the people who go to the cinema and talk. Like, don't do it. Because I, I will ignore you. Honestly, I, I will ignore you. <laughs> you yeah, it's easy to movie. ignore somebody at the movies. I like to go somewhere fun, you know, last Island. If we talk about something, mm-hmm. you know, fun where both of us are doing something and you know it breaks the ice at the same time. Mm-hmm. We're both having fun and you know eventually talk to the person and then laugh at each other. No, thank you. Yeah, I just feel like so. Okay, okay. Let me think. Two. Okay, two things is either we go to the beach like Anna Lisa said, and then there was this couple in Sinusha. Y'all might know them. What they did after going to the beach, having fun, having their picnic. The guy, he has a van. So in the back of the van, he set up like this cute little thing with blankets mm-hmm. and whatever. A laptop for Netflix. He had snacks on the side. Yes, he had snacks mm-hmm. on the side. You know, something cute yeah, like that yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I would say that. Um, next thing is probably like something adventurous, you know, something that will keep, you know, like, I, I like stuff that keeps my adrenaline up. I, I don't know why. I just like exciting things. Something that will just be like, yes. And, uh, and yeah. So like, I, <laughs> I went go-kart racing in Barbados. So something like that. And then, you know, afterwards, you just go somewhere quiet and just talk and whatever. Maybe have some ice cream or... Yeah, something like that. Aaliyah. If you say cricket match, eh? 
I just knew I, I felt it. <laughs> I was so thinking that a picnic, <laughs> as a cricket match, and then my team win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. If we were to have a picnic at a cricket match, the food will probably get cold, or we may not be talking as much because we'll probably be really focused on what's going on on the field. But like, mm-hmm. I mean, the idea is cute, though. Like a picnic at a cricket match. The idea is. Cute. I don't know if it will be executed properly, mm-hmm. but yeah. Okay. What do girls like to receive as presents? I like flowers, jewelry. I get them, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. Flowers and food. <laughs> oh yeah, chocolates. I love chocolates. You, you can buy me like chocolates you... alone and I will be happy. But like nice chocolates. Like Not like um tiki. I mean I would appreciate the tiki. The I would appreciate the tiki, but you know, you hate tiki, I would hate you. <laughs> I would really hate you. But if like I see this big bag and I'm like, yes, woo! Open to tikis, I'm like Damn. Mm-mm. That's what you do me there. Not even a cat, Bria. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I like gift vouchers. Mm-hmm. For some reason. I really like gift vouchers. Like, give me a gift voucher to a clothing store. That'd be nice. What is your mindset? What do you expect or what are your goals for 2021? To enter university. Actually, go to university. Yeah, go to university. And have a proper university experience. To not catch COVID. Yeah, to not catch COVID. (laughs) Next question is, why is it... No, do girls always want to use protection? Yeah, after about now, yeah, I mean, eh, eh, I cannot afford a child. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. A hundred percent. Yes. Like, especially in, at this stage in my life. If it ever happens at this stage in my life. <laughs> See? Do girls find it attractive if a guy says that he has a lot of options? No. No. <laughs> the hell? You better go meet your other options. <laughs> what are you going to tell me that for? No, I don't look like multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> you say she don't look like multiple choice. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does. <laughs> why, why is it that a girl thinks it's, you know, okay to uh, reject a guy how many times? Yeah, like you actually like him, but you just keep rejecting him just to play hard to get. I like it. Really good, good at doing that. Well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> we barely hear you. Yes, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Hello, Alia. Okay, hi. Um, because you see, maybe at the point in time, the girl was immature. When she was young, she was not comfortable getting into a relationship at that time. You know? So, due to her immaturity, she was making very immature decisions. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, next one is. Oh, do women actually? And they said women. Eh? Do women actually yeah. have sensitive spots? Sensitive. Or is it 
yeah. or is it that you're just faking it when I do a have guy probably sex you on your fire? I have sensitive skin, right? Yeah, you know. Disha, I just going to oh mute you. No, 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 no. So, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so like, let's say they have people. They have certain people. Like if you touch behind there, they feel in something. Yes, right there. So they want to know if it's like you're actually saying the truth or you're faking it. Okay. So speaking from an educated point of view, yes, <laughs> women do. Speaking from experience, I have no clue. <laughs> Don't ask me. Was never, you know. <laughs> Caressed to say <laughs> no, <where is> she- <laughs> <laughs> I would say yes, yes. I mean, I don't think people faking that. I don't think you can fake that. Next question is: Should I tell a girl that I am a virgin, or will she just think I have no experience if she has? Yes, you should. I think you should tell her. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter to us girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it matters to us, but I think it matters to them. Yeah. Like, especially girls, if like the girl is a virgin, you know, you have to know these things before you go and mash up the girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in the whatpad books the girls are afraid to say and then things happen and then the boy is like why didn't you tell me and then this whole argument starts and you know the bad boy gets all upset and you know so you know before they mash you up you know i expect <laughs> the girls have to say something <laughs> next <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was expecting you to say that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Why is it by now you all don't realize that we cannot pick up on subtle hints and you actually have to say you have to say it. We can't just pick up on your hints. We aren't mind readers. We're very sorry, we do apologize. Yeah, on behalf of all you. Yeah. They just said the yeah, apology. I don't think there's an explanation for it. So you can just apologize. It's it's gonna happen again. So I mean, yeah, if it happens, in I'm sorry in advance. Yeah. <laughs> do you want us to fight a guy if he is getting up in your face, or do we just leave it because you can take care of yourself? I mean, if you want to fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I feel like if he up in my face, I guess you can say, you know, yeah, excuse out. me, get out. But you don't need but, to get violent unless he starts throwing right. punches at me. Then uh, you can freely go and beat him up. But we don't I need mean, another statistic, you know. <laughs> like they have enough, <laughs> enough <laughs> crime for the year. Why is it y'all find attractive guys cute and romantic? But when an ugly guy is doing the same thing, it is creepy. What? <laughs> Why is it Mm-mm. that when <laughs> okay <laughs> when an attractive guy comes and he does something, you find it cute and romantic. But then when an ugly guy comes and do- does the same thing, you are like, "Oh, that boy is a creep," or you know, he probably just joking around with me. If he's cute and I like him, you know, I'll be mm-hmm. happy. But if I don't like you and it's unwanted, I mean, I wouldn't tell you stop being a creep or anything. I'll just ignore you. Sorry. Mm-hmm. But even though you're cute, I would still tell you stop joking because I would never believe you mm-hmm. <laughs> you message me. So, <laughs> sorry. I think it's a prank. Yeah. Yeah, nowadays people doing pranks left, right, and center. You need to be aware. Okay, last question. 
Why do you wear such provocative clothing, but then go and complain when somebody starts checking you out? I dress for myself. Exactly. Amen. Right. <laughs> because I put on an outfit, that doesn't mean that you have to comment. If you want to comment, you can just say, oh, you know, you're looking cute, you're looking nice. They have certain words you shouldn't use to describe the way that I look. Because then just it just say you. To you. Just, yeah. You look nice. And just stop it. There. Exactly. You don't you, have to don't be don't like, do your ass looks nice in those jeans or whatever. Like, don't make a video and tell me that. <laughs> if you say <laughs> you look nice, jeez. There's a saying, um, not because, what's, not because I look nice in clothing means you have to point it out, especially if I don't know you. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I don't know you. <laughs> I'll send out her <laughs> SOS. Like, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> uh, yes, guys. This is the end of this weather podcast. If we do have another podcast, you know, we will have some better backgrounds. My green screen wouldn't be taking up half of my hair for some reason. Deja will not have a blanket looking. I don't know what she's doing. But guys, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, maybe you can share it, you know. You know, the videos are now public these days. So... See you and be safe and I will see you on the flip side. Bye.